Today I want to talk to you about sourdough bread. I get a lot of questions about this and so there is some confusion surrounding it. Now traditional sourdough bread should really only contain three ingredients, flour, water and salt. And it should not have any added yeast or enzymes, certainly not any preservatives or emulsifiers or additives to speed up the, the baking process. Not for us. I mean, it doesn't matter for someone else, but it matters for us with IBS. Now, the, the traditional sourdough bread is made over a few days. And it, it's a tradition that's thousands and thousands of years old. But it is made from flour and water. And it can have some salt put in there and it's left to ferment over several days. That's how it used to be done, right? And it is the actual flour itself that then cultures the yeast. It's a natural process that happens. The, in the grain, you have something called lactobacilli and that's what then can be cultured to create the yeast. So this particular culture is then added to the, to the dough. We know that sourdough has what they call a starter. That's what the starter is. So it's not yeast, but it's a natural fermenting process. And this process releases gas, and that's what makes the bread rise, of course. But very slowly, and usually over at least the 24-hour period, and the longer, the better, especially for us because so much of that fermentation has then taken place already. So why are some sourdough breads low FODMAP and some are not? And it really depends on that fermenting process and whether it's been sped up or not. Uh, much of the uh, bread that you, you buy out there, if it's not from a, a bakery, but it's called sourdough, has been sped up by the addition of yeast, and it hasn't been done in the traditional way, and that won't have enough of the fermentation happening. So that's not going to be okay for us. It really has to be done in the traditional way, so go to a bakery and ask them how they made it and how long it took to make it as well, and it should be a question of days, not hours. But anyway, which of the low FODMAP um, breads, considering they're made in the traditional way, are safe for us? Well, even the white, sour, white wheat sourdough bread, it's low FODMAP at two slices, as long as it's made in the traditional way. And that's the same with the spelt flour. That's even better because that's the old traditional flour and it has um, less problems for us. But even the wheat at two slices is fine. But the oat sour, sourdough bread, we could get away with one slice, but probably not two of that one. So be careful with that. And exactly the same thing with the rye sourdough bread. That one actually should be avoided completely. Whereas the oat sourdough bread is in the moderate category for FODMAPs. Rye sourdough bread is high FODMAP. So don't use that one. So go for a normal wheat sourdough bread, spelt or otherwise, prepared in the traditional way, and you can have two slices of that, and you'll feel like a normal person. Thank you for watching, and good